Welcome Scorpio Sagittarius to your end of the month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on here. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Okay. Scorpio Sag. The energy I'm looking for is what you are thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. So let's see what's going on with you at the end of the month. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles coming in reverse. Okay, let's clarify on the Six of Pentacles in reverse, see why that's there. This card is not only going to clarify on the Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's also going to clarify in the entire reading. Partnerships and alliances. Ooh, okay. Partnerships and alliances doesn't have to be a loved one. It could be a co-worker, a friend, a sibling, um, if, you know, family members, your own child, however you want to see it. The neighbor next door. Okay. So getting into the present, we will see exactly what's going on over here. Present. Near past and near future, please. Present. Oops, right there. Patience and planning is upside down. With the love begins in reverse as well, upside down. Prosperity is upside down in the near past and in the near future you have victory and success. So you have, you have four cards over here and four is good because that's finding your stability, finding your stable foundations, getting yourself back on track. Um, so that's very good. Okay, so. With the Six of pan uh, Pentacles over here, you might feel like you're a little imbalanced within this partnership and this alliance with this person. Um, is, you know, and then you always have to ask yourself, you know, is your partner attempting you to come back to them or are you tempting them to come back to you? Okay. And it also feels in a lot of ways that the, because of the imbalance going over, you know, going on over here, there may be circumstances beyond your control that, you know, you need to feel like you need to skip, you know, tip those scales back into balance, right? So, with the fertility over here, upside down, not feeling the prosperities that you need, the three in fertility is the imprints card. So, Maybe you're not feeling the nourishment, the love, not feeling the prosperities um, of this other person at this time, the way maybe you wanted it to be, right? I wanted you to nourish me. I wanted you to love me, and I don't feel it anymore. It's kind of like it's uh, dissipating, okay? They're neglecting you. There's empty promises. Maybe there's a resistance going on um, within this relationship. If this has to do with work, maybe you're feeling counterproductive, Um you know, if this is a work situation, maybe you're in your head too much at work and over, you know, maybe you're over contemplating too much that's going on around you. Okay. And, um, I don't know, for a lot of you, it could just be that empty, that, that empty nest feeling like, you know, because they're neglecting you, right? I don't feel like we're as close as we used to be. It feels like the empty nest syndrome for me. It feels like there are empty promises 
Somebody is not keeping their promises. Somebody is not cooperating the way they used to cooperate. It feels like they used to do this at one time, and now it feels like all I want is for you to cooperate with me, love me, be on the same page with me, and I'm not getting this. Yeah, there it is again. It's definitely cooperation. Um, yeah, you're not, we're not seeing eye to eye. You're not recognizing me. Maybe, like I said, there's neglect going on or resistance to see what is going on around them. Or maybe it's you, maybe you're resisting them. Maybe you're saying, I don't, you know, want to see you like this anymore. Maybe because you've broken my heart with the heart chakra, you know, it's, it's upside down. So yeah, queen of cups could be dealing with a cancer. You know that you're a loyal, true person. Maybe you've even seen this person as the loyal, true person, a loyal, true friend, a person who's always there. And then all of a sudden, it's like maybe they change. Yeah, they changed. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it feels like they changed. They went from this very loving, loyal friend or boyfriend or whatever and they have changed into this person who is maybe lustful, greedy, whatever the devil is for you, right? However it is, they've turned into this person that you no longer know. That's what it feels like. You no longer know this person. Maybe they've been, you know, become obsessed with drinking you know, or something of this matter. We have the cup sitting on top of the cup, so maybe they're drinking too much, and now, you know, it just seems like all they do is drink, and, you know, but however it is, they've turned into this person that you no longer know. Um, it feels like they were your two of cups until they started neglecting you. Patience and planning is upside down. It feels like you are moving. You're overbearing. You're moving towards trying to get some planning done. But it just feels like you're going nowhere. This is a go nowhere situation with the Ace of Pentacles. Now I know why you're upside down with the Six of Pentacles. Because this is a go nowhere situation. No wonder you're imbalanced. You also feel, I even feel somewhere in there, there it might feel unfair. Maybe you guys had a bunch of things you were supposed to be paid, you know, planning. And they turn into this devil over here and it just feels like whatever your promises were and you're holding tight to these promises, it feels like they're not coming in, but you're holding tight to those and rushing towards them. Trying to keep them alive, Eight of Wands. The communication is not the way it used to be. Well, you see that there, and it's sitting on top of the Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, without the collaboration, without the working together and coming together, if they're ignoring you, it's going to be hard to communicate because it's like, hello, you've built a wall around me. I cannot do this. So it feels like you're going down the ladder, even though you're pushing to go up this ladder with the Knight of Swords trying to keep these hopes and promises, trying to keep this, maybe you guys own a job together. Um, so maybe you're trying to keep, you know, your store open, but they're, maybe that's what it is too. Maybe they went into some kind of depression mode where, you know, they're like, hey, you know what, the store is not gonna be the way it is. So I refuse, you know, to work on this with you the way we used to, because I don't believe the love is beginning anytime soon. We lost lots of customers. This is not working right however it is there's it's almost like going backwards i feel like this backwards syndrome maybe you've gone backwards with this person before maybe there was miscommunication before it's almost like you're aiming towards them you know to talk to them about these hopes and promises but every time you throw that wand it misses it misses the target so of course that makes you come barreling in because you're like i'm not giving up these this this planning You know, it's more like I'm becoming impatient. Yeah, I see impatience with the Knight of Swords. It's not that you've given up. It's now you become impatient to get this done. And it feels like they're like lollygagging and ignoring you. 
yeah, Knight of Cups, I'm offering you, I'm telling you, I'm expecting you to do the things that I want to do, but instead you're making chaos, you're expecting to bail out. It's almost like you, oh my gosh, it's like you expecting, it's almost like you expect them could be dealing with Scorpio as well, or it could be you, Scorpio, saying, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. It's so chaotic. Maybe I should bail out of the situation. But I personally, the way I really see it, I mean, that could be happening. The way I'm really seeing it is you're expecting them to bail out anytime soon. They're not coming towards you. If they keep, if they keep ignoring the situation while you're trying to run at it, how are they going to take, you know, this action? Wands is action. How are they going to take this action when they keep trying to bail out of the situation with the tower over here? So it just feels like they lost hope. Or you're trying to keep the hope and the promises alive. They've lost the hope because of this devil energy. So you're saying, oh, well, I want the love to begin. It's almost like, you know, using your water sign over here, you're using a, a lot of strength, a lot of caring. You're even offering more hopes and, wow, there's a lot of offering. You're offering them so much. It even feels to me like you're even apologizing for something you might not even need to be apologizing for. Because if this was literally, as it said over there, something that was out of your control, with the fertility card, right? Something you could not control. It was not something that, you know, it was no, it was no one's fault. It just happened. So if you're coming in, you know, saying, I'm sorry that this happened. I'm sorry that this tower is happening. I'm, you know, but you're doing it with self-confidence because it's like you're trying to flip this love around because you really want this ace of pentacles. But yeah. The more you keep going at it, the more it's just like the refusal for them to see. They are stuck in this double energy. They cannot see past their hand. They have an imbalance. I think that where... For me, it feels like maybe... They just, maybe they felt vulnerable when this happened. Like they'd lost a lot. And so they didn't really, I just feel like they can't see past their hand. They know that there was a rocky road, but they don't see the issues that keep emerging and they're not trying to fix the situation. Instead, they're resisting to fix the situation. Maybe they have too much anger that the situation has occurred. Maybe they're trying to take control in a way that leaves for um, negative energy. You know, instead of trying to control the situation in the right way, they're trying to control the situation by ignoring it, by resenting it. But that's not, you know, it's almost like they're trying to maybe even take a strength and be the stronger person, but being over strong makes you actually weak because it's all of this resentment, all of this anger. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's almost like, you know, I keep trying my hardest to plant these seeds, but it's almost like they don't see them. They're being inflexible. They're being stubborn. They have the failure to see that where I'm trying to come from. You know, you see them maybe is even a little over prideful. It just feels like they're done. They're done. They're not going to even try. Where you even see a way out of the situation, they're blinded and they're not going to see nothing. So this is causing the Wheel of Fortune to be upside down. You're, it's like you're tired of these circles that you're doing, and it just feels like a circle. You're on a roller coaster, and it just feels like it's bad luck. Bad luck because they are unwilling to help with the situation. The love is not going to begin with within this area. 
if they continue to allow the Wheel of Fortune to be bad luck and not at least try to strike out and say, hey, you know what, let's do something together. Let's try to fix this. And they just seem unwilling to want to do so. So it's causing your partnerships and alliances to have bad cycles. Over here, you have the victory and the success. Two of Wands, they're still not looking anywhere. It's almost like they're delusional. They're delusion. It's almost like they're wearing rose-colored glasses in their own ways, um, thinking there's no way out. And you're seeing over here, hey, you know what? There is a way out if we can work together. Um, but it's almost like they've come to the conclusion that, um, nope, this is bad timing. This is never going to happen. And you're going, no, victory and success. What are you talking about? Wait, wait a minute. What are you talking about, Mr. Capricorn? I don't know what you're talking about. You keep saying there's no, none of this and none of that, but look at this. I'm already working. I've already got half of it figured out. And they're saying, no, I don't see it. I don't see a way out of this. Nope, don't see it. Sorry. So no matter what, they're underdetermined to see anything that you've put through. Any hard work that you've done, they're unwilling to see. And it's almost like they've lost, they've just lost all hope. They don't see nothing. They're completely blinded. All they see is still the topsy-turviness of everything that's going on. They don't even see that you've actually planted a seed and that one seed out of maybe 10 has already come to fruitation. But they don't see that because, you know, I feel like the Capricorn over here does not notice things unless it's something huge. You planted the seed and made it grow. So therefore, you notice the one little step, but they don't see that. Unless something huge happens, they're not going to see nothing because they're making themselves blind in the dark. They're keeping themselves in the dark with negative energy. They're not going to see nothing until they wake up. Knight of Wands coming in. Yeah, I don't know what you're so passionate about over here, they're saying. Yeah, I don't know why you're so passionate. They're saying, Scorpio Sag, look, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Knight of Wands, I don't see anything happening. Two of Wands, you're like, well, maybe you should take your mask off, take your blindfold off, and um, start looking around because um, with the Two of Wands over here, or Two of Swords, excuse me, over here, I have done a lot. No, that just infuriates them. And I also think it's infuriating you. Now with the Queen of Wands coming up, I feel like they're getting kind of... Um, I, I do. I think they're getting a little pissy. Because you're trying to tell them, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And with the Queen of Wands, you're like getting mad. Because you're like, you're not seeing what I did. Victory and success, I got one thing done. Yeah, Ten of Cups and Three of Cups. Look, man, I got money coming in. I got my stuff together. You know, if we were on a fishing boat, I just caught tons of fish. Three of Cups. I'm going to pop up, open some champagne, and I'm going to go celebrate. Um, you can sit at home by yourself, yeah, and escape whatever problems you want to do. And I feel like you're escaping the situation with the Four of Wands. And I also feel like they're kind of uh, escaping also for the Four of Wands. Because it's almost like they were just going to sit back and say, and just talk crap. Because they don't have any idea what's going on. Five of Swords upside down, but you have the, the <laughs> you have the realizations that you know what you can sit over here blinded all you want, but I got the Ace of Cups over here, um, so you know I put in a lot of hard work getting back whatever it is, whatever small step you did to help out the situation, it's actually helped. And yes, with the chariot, it has moved you forward. Maybe you even got the car fixed. Maybe that was one of your to do lists, you know, to do lists on the bucket list of things that need to be done. Um, and you got the car fixed. Hey, you know what? I got the car fixed. I got it up and running, you know. Maybe, you know, you had a brother or sister or somebody do it for you. Who knows, right? But I'm just saying. Got one thing off the bucket list done, and that made a huge difference. Huge just page of sorts. He's just not going to see it your way. 
he or she is just not going to see it your way and until so you're going to have to continue to stand your ground for the things that you're looking for yeah because they don't see nothing the only way that i'm telling you that they're going to see something yeah yeah, now they're being egomatic with you or they think you're being egomatic about the situation because you put in all this hard work. So now they're seeing you kind of like, oh, okay, so the ball's in your court. So you're just the ego one now, aren't you? Oh, you did such a great job. Yeah, well, with the hermit over here, you're realizing, you know what, I'm just going to keep going forward, taking the control that I've been taking because they're not really going to see it my way. No, they're not going to see it your way until you do something huge. Whatever is next on that bucket list to do, they're not going to see it your way. Now, you would have to have more progression. When you have this ultimate progression and this ultimate advancement within your pinnacles, yes, within your pinnacles, coming out as this queen of pinnacles, then he or she is going to see, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, then they'll come out of their Eight of Swords and say, wow, that's amazing. Ace of Wands. Okay, so now they're going to want to take action with you. Okay, so you're going to have to do something amazing, Scorpio Sag, to be able to make this person wake up. Otherwise, all these little seeds that you're planting, they're not quite suitable for Mr. Devil, Mr. Capricorn over here, okay? Because... Seriously, he's waiting for the big kaboom. And until he sees or she sees some big kaboom within this, within this, um, whatever you guys are doing, um, it is not going to be recognized. In fact, you know, you're going to be over here celebrating this one big thing that you did. Like I said, maybe getting the car fixed or getting something up and running, something like this. Um, maybe even got a new job. I don't know. Or got the car ready for a new job. Whatever it is, you're going to be celebrating by yourself, like I said, or with your other friends, other alliances, and you know. But they're not going to join because they don't see any remarkable thing that you've done at this time. It's just not big enough in their eyes. So whatever had happened, it really pushed them down a lot. This was major, major, big, big for them. It set them straight into some kind of depression. and But it says forgiveness for the perfect timing. It, pretty much I see that they're either going to show you forgiveness, ask for forgiveness. I see that you're already asking for forgiveness for whatever. Um, but I do believe that they're going to come to you at the perfect timing. And be like, you know, hey, you're doing a great job. Can you forgive me? Look for a sign. Okay. There is something better out there, the angels say. So, you know, it's just going to be within the perfect timing to get, you know, all your eggs into a basket over here. Okay. Let's get some angel romance cards really fast on this cap coin. doesn't have to be a Capricorn, you guys, okay? I'm just using the cap because he's looking right at me. <laughs> he's looking right at me, and it does feel a lot like Capricorn energy um, because when Capricorns get down, they get down hard, right, real deep. So um, they lose the foundations. They, they lose their footing, and they fall. That's earth signs. So it does feel very, very earth. So, um, But you could be dealing with anybody, okay? So... It says that your person is a flirt. Are they doing it now? Not at this time, probably not. Not while he's in devil energy. Um, children, there could be children involved. And give your relationship a chance. This is how your person feels deep down inside. So they are probably a very flirtatious person. They know that they do everything for their children as well, you know. And... Um, give your relationship, they want to give this relationship a, ch a chance. It's just that right now, oh, oh, right now they feel codependent. Maybe your person doesn't have a job and then maybe this is what's going on. Maybe they lost their job and make and you feel like you have to pick up all the broken pieces. Because I feel this codependency coming off of them right now, but I also kind of feel like 
this might be one of the reasons they're ignoring you. Maybe they're the strong one in the relationship and they feel like they have to, you know, be codependent to you and they don't like that. Uh, but it's going to, you guys will have a reconciliation. Okay, that doesn't have to be for everybody. That's just the cards that are coming out. Okay. So, okay, my friends. And that was it. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. I finally got my first item in the mail from my store. This is the Chakra Peaceful Mind collection. If you guys are interested in any of these items that I have, click on the link below in the description. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.